guys, it's Lips Lovely, and today I will be um, make, showing you guys how to make a pom-pom out of loom bands, as you can see. I have a lot right here. So you will need quite a lot of... Oh, my workspace is messy. If you guys can't see... That's all some loom bands. It's gross. But I'm too tired to clean it up. I'll clean it up later. The next video, I'll probably have a clean working space. Cool. So let's get started. Let me just move this. Hi. So what we're going to do is you're just going to grab your, oh yes, and also this is not a loom included, so it's just your hook. You can, I think you can also use a crochet for this. I'm using my rainbow loom band hook. And some of these loom bands, this color this color nice green and a few dark blues so let's get started um what you'll do is you'll grab here let me sh like put you up here you guys balanced will you drop yes you will let me move all of these over to here. There we go. A few more. There. So I'm going to just grab two at a time, or as many as a time. Just slide it onto my hook. Do this until there's only one band left over. Or you can do all of them. And get a, a, a single band after. I just do it until I have one band left. So then it's like I don't have to be rummaging around my um, loom band box for another one of the colors. Yikes. I have like bent ones it's really hard to do a bent because it doesn't really roll on so there's my hook um i will like catch up with you guys when i am done with this part Wait. <laughs> uh see ya bye Oh, and guys, just to let you know, the more the loom bands, the better, okay? Um, I've done this many so far, and I still got all of them to go. This is going to be my last one, so I'm doing all of these babies. All of those. I'll see you when I'm done, like, more. Yeah. So guys, I'm just like grabbing all most of my loom bands on my fingers so I can just slide it all along for my fingers. Just to warn you again from my last video last from a few videos ago about wrapping um loom bands on your fingers. Do not let your loom band no. That was about string on your fingers. Do not make your fingers go purple because if that does happen, um, you need to take them immediately off um, because all, if it goes purple, that means all the blood is out of your fingers and that is sad. I shouldn't talk about this because YouTube might dem dem demonetize this video. Or someone. I don't know. Yikes. So. 
Um, yeah. With this stuff, I might, like, make my own store, like, I don't know, um, Loomtastic Loom Bands or something like that. Or Loops is Loomtastic Loom Bands. That sounds good. And then I'll just, like, sell all my Loom Band creations, stuff that I made with Loom Bands. And if you haven't watched my other videos... Make sure you do do that because they are awesome. So now that I'm done with all of these, I have finally finished. Now I am going to... Guys, don't mind that sound again. Okay, so there. You put it on your hook as you can see I did. I bring up my toe for this, but you don't need to do that if you have your loom around. Um, so what you're going to do is you are going to pull every single one of these, every single one, onto your hook. I mean, off your hook, onto the band. And do not let this band either break, get off the hook, or get off wherever you're holding up the other end or else if they're all on there and it breaks all of them i mean all of them are going and they're all on there they're all going to fall because splat boom it will be terrible boom bands everywhere Oh my goodness. I can't believe someone would, someone would actually let go of the band. That would be stupid. Alright, last two. Boom, bada beam. Then you're going to bring this like this. Bring it all the way down. And get this side. Wait, you can't see. So that side. So yeah, so you're, you basically just made this. If you're not caught up, pause the video and catch up. So, um, five, four, three, two, one. All right, I hope you've all catched up. So you're gonna grab the bottom one. Wait, bring it up and over and tighten. Now you can take this. Ay, ay, ay. Don't let it break apart, okay? Mine just literally broke apart. No, guys. They just all broke apart. Oh my goodness, no. Now I have to shred them all back onto my hook. And then, uh-oh. Okay, guys, let me um, get back to the part where I was with um, the single loom band. Also, you can use two loom bands, so then it will secure nicelier. Nicer. Nicelier. However you pronounce it. Um, so, secure nicer. And, yeah, just don't do what I did, because that was a very dumb move of me. For doing that yeah all right let me just rewind everything and put everything back on if you guys forgot what you wouldn't have um it doesn't actually really take that long but normally if you were going to make a pom-pom out of loom bands you would need to use 70 loom bands but i just showed you the easy way so here comes my toe again up it came, and I'm just going to bring all these on, like, seriously, quickly. I'm using double this time, so if one falls, it will catch. And the other one will catch it, but if that doesn't work, I'm going to go with triple. Seriously, that was so frustrating. Um... So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to finish off my...
pom pom while I end out this video. So I hope you really, you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Um, comment below if if the comments are free. But if it isn't, just I don't know. Click that bell if you succeeded and it did not fall apart. But even if it did, even if it didn't succeed, still click that bell after you hit that subscribe button. Please do, because that will mean a lot to me. That was really stressful. Okay. Here, I am about done with my pom-pom. Here we go. It's a little cute pom-pom. Just make sure you kept keep on like checking on where you tied it together so then it won't break free but if you don't want to keep on doing that you can grab one extra rubber band or maybe two if you would like um you will get your hook and you will thread it through some this is how you are going to make it a keychain if you want it to be i really want mine to be a keychain so, yep, you're just going to do the same process as earlier. Fold it down in there. And then over and pull. There we go. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... There we go. And really, you guys should watch my other videos. I made a little octopus. I've made bows, bees, and I will be posting more. I will see you guys. Bye-bye.